All right. This one was our, I think we had the most discussion about redefining this one last year. This is the, dang it, this is the Game Against Humanity Award. Mm. And this is for, okay, let me get the actual definition that we've been working with here. Heinous and fun. It's so fun to do such terrible things. So, so it's not the game that you do the most terrible things. It's a game that you do terrible things and have fun with. I think that was yes. our issue last year. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's see here. Nominees. This is an easy one, too. Uh, Saints Row 4. <laughs> wonder if that'll win. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Ethan voted for. Yeah. <laughs> wow, shock infinite. Grand Theft Auto Five. <clears throat> I could just, like, just the, it's palpable, like the, the contempt I <laughs> think you have for this game. <laughs> I just gotta play it up at this point. Tomb, tomb, yeah. tomb Raider, Payday Two. I'm in the same place. I've done it for so long. I just have to keep the hating last GTA. Of <laughs> I really have nothing. Against That's it. consistency, Coop. Yep. Um, other nominees were Dead Space it. Three, Pirates Creed. State of Decay and Gunpoint, which I will mention because the one time I knocked the cop off the edge of the building, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> um, any other nominees? Or did you want to fight for any of those that I just mentioned? I mean, the most heinous stuff that I do in Black Flag is actually kill all the animals, but that's just a personal thing. Well, they give you goods. Uh, <laughs> you need those goods. Okay, okay, okay. Are th- um, <laughs> okay, uh, looking at this list, I was going to say, is Grand Theft Auto V the most heinous stuff? But yeah, like the context of some of the Grand Theft Auto V stuff over, I like, it's the brutality of The Last of Us and Tomb Raider that strike me. Like, and I yeah. got, yes. w- I had way too much fun with the shotgun in Last of Us and way too much fun with the shotgun and the pickaxe in Tomb Raider. Like I can see that. that that's where... The heinous side comes comes from. Well, I, I could drop payday off the list. I could drop payday. Payday more the, the concept because, like, yeah. dude, you're shooting a you're lot of cops. Bad, you kill yeah. tons true. You of are, cops. You are killing tons of okay, cops. Okay, but well, but the other side, I didn't. I never really reveled in it. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's you. You shoot the cops because you have to. You have to. Sh- you have no choice. Yep. Yeah. But to shoot the cops, you don't. You don't shoot them because it's fun. It's just. Yeah, you you have to do it. So yeah. payday is a fun game. Doing the heist yes. is fun, but it's like Tomb Raider. It's fun to walk up and slam a pickaxe pickaxe in somebody's face. Yeah, just the brutality and yeah. the gore of what you're doing, and the fact that no, like no enemy in that game is like you, don't, you never feel sorry for them. Like Bioshock Infinite, I always tried to go for the melee kill with yeah. the skyhook or you know skyhook to the face. Yep. Okay. Um, my argument against Saints Row Four is the premise. It's all in a simulation. Yeah. That's true. It's true. <laughs> so it's not that terrible. It really is. Uh, but, but at the same time... It's t- just simulated. And I did more of the superhero stuff this time around. I didn't really... I wasn't into the Although, running people over with cars or just... Like, you interact I, with I, aliens I, it's more not, than anything. It's not simulated on the ship, and you still tried to have sex with a robot. <laughs> well, I, I think Saints Row... <laughs> That's like, the most fun I had, reason, actually. <laughs> is that heinous? The reason it got my vote is what you could do to people. I mean, sure. even though it was a simulation... Like picking someone up and throwing them across the city, and like if you don't look at it as a simulation, like you you could do some pretty horrible stuff. But that being said, um, <laughs> from what I've heard of Grand Theft Auto Five, uh-huh. it it just you just sound like a sociopath that is a sociopath to like people that could have real lives if given the opportunity to. Bioshock Infinite, like that was like. I like doing the skyhook thing, but that was a war to me. Like that's not like a, like oh I'm enjoying this. It was like these guys sort of deserve it because they're I'd started a enjoying. little bit racist. You know what I mean? Yeah. I went like, out so of my like, way I, to melee in that game. Yeah, but um, I get what Ethan's saying though. It's like the act itself. It's like you enjoyed it, but it wasn't as morally wrong as. Doing it to somebody. I like in Gif- Grand Theft Auto. Gifford's explanation of this category is if the Joker would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Gleeful me. I like how he explained it too. He would have loved having sex with a robot. The problem, I think, the problem with Bioshock Infinite is that there's a whole story thread about how Booker has apparently done worse things than he's doing in that moment. 
Like they try to yeah. make him like, oh, he's in a war and he was like killing all these people over here. And they, they came up, called him a war hero. But, you know, like, oh, Booker, you're, you're shit. But now you're killing all these people that are like, yeah, they're racist and they're they're essentially in a giant floating cult. OK, but I had more glee. I had, I had the most glee with Tomb Raider's pickaxe and, and her shotgun. I'd say Skyhook would be next, and then The Last of Us shotgun. Like, I'd say The Last of Us is probably. I could probably cut The Last of Us. I would cut The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah I, could, I could cut that. Because there's not like, the glee had, side of that. Is I had a lot of fun stabbing people. I had a lot of fun stabbing with people with Ellie's too. knife. I felt more of a survival instinct than. But I'm no, doing I, this I could. I could cut it. But I, then yeah. you had to kill that deer, and it just sucked the life out of you. Yeah, you got a nice hit on that deer. <laughs> Getting bled all over the place. <laughs> all right. You're so far away. Us, yeah, my, last of Us is cut. Bleeding. Do we... Um, gosh. I haven't done GTA 5, so I don't... I mean, I'm assuming it's like GTA. I was going to argue against GTA 5 as probably the person who put GTA 5 there yeah. and that it's more... You're doing similar things that you've done before. And when I played it, I didn't go on any real... Well, there are parts where you do rampages and you are killing like specific funny groups of people like as Trevor, like you'll, oh, kill these hipster kids or kill these hillbillies and stuff. But I I don't know if I consider that worse than Saints Row 4. Well, okay, here's the thing. Is like even, what, even as a simulation. What can you do in Grand Theft Auto 5 that you can't do in Saints Row? And is it just because of the... They're they're very similar. It's the like, premises are the same essentially. So it's it's a matter of do we mark out Saints Row for the simulation aspect or um, otherwise? Otherwise, I'd say cut GTA. I would cut GTA. I think the stuff. You, I yeah. mean, granted, it's a simulation, but Ethan's the stuff you do is worse. I guess because with GTA, it depends on like how you play the game. Like, I bet you can play that game without being terrible. Yeah, you can. Which is what Saints Rockstar's Row, almost you, like encouraged me to do lately. Aside from maybe playing yeah. as Trevor, I would assume. Yeah. I mean, Saints Row, you can be as as bad as yeah you want, right. and my, it really doesn't you affect can power anything. Bomb a person in Saints Row Four. So. Yeah. My <laughs> my vote here goes to Tomb Raider because there's also a moment in that game where. Sh- like I just felt empowered to destroy these dudes, and I really enjoyed, like I said, shooting them with shotguns and hitting them with pickaxes, and um, like felt justified in it, and just had I had I started having a lot of fun with that game because of that. Here's my question for Tomb Raider: sure. Just because you said you felt justified in killing them, do you think that takes away any from like? Doing like, are you doing a terrible thing, or are you killing terrible people in a terrible way? You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason because I would well, vote it, on that it's, because it's, I saw some of those killings and they were terrible. But like, I don't. Yeah, I, mean, I would just walk I'm down the street in Saints Row and grab a person and throw them at a building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's that's a little less justified than you know jamming a pickaxe in a guy's face who's trying to kill you. But from but, a visceral perspective, Tomb Raider, I mean, some of those it's, impacts it's, it's kind are of, just it, pretty intense. Is it, yeah, I guess it, is the award more for the act itself or how much you so, enjoy the, the I, act? At, at, the, at the same I time, the I have the option I have the option of doing some sort of stealth kill or picking them up with the headshot. I, ha- I have, but I kept choosing to just go brutal with it. Yeah. And it was fun because of it. Like, it was, it, it was fun on that level of I started to feel like a badass so but I could be talking to Saints Row 4 if I there's a unified front against me for Tomb Raider because that the fact that yeah you can just pick someone up and throw (laughs) throw them (laughs) into a skyscraper I wish I would have more experience with uh, the other aspect of it is you do destroy Earth you know (laughs) indirectly (laughs) I mean I mean you do some horrible stuff and your characters I think that the characters in Saints Row 4 are probably more because they take it in such stride okay. to me, like I kind of felt terrible there. Like they don't really, they care, but in a very like okay, wait, uh, distance way. Saints Four Row Four just won because I remembered my little uh, my little Sunday drive. Oh yeah, your Sunday oh, yeah. drive was a good time. I like that. Uh, Which one was that? It was right before. You know, is it when you're in the when you're old in the times simulation that doesn't work? Like leave it oh, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was I yeah, just running over. I everything. was okay. Yeah, never mind. Same throw. Laura, I love your pickaxe, but we've already talked about that. So yeah. the game against humanity 
Saints Row 4. Uh, runners up, Bioshock Infinite, which we didn't really talk about, and then Tomb Raider. We kind of talked about it. Yeah. Or Coop and I said stuff. Yeah. You must have been too busy thinking about that pickaxe it, it going lost, into a guy's it, it lost points. <laughs> it like, it's funny that, so it, right. that it lost points because it was so much more justified. Yeah. yeah. And I think I cared more about the story and what was happening with those characters than the fact that I was shoving a sky hook into a dude's face. The first time yeah. you do it, you're like, oh shit. Oh. But afterwards, it's like... I didn't good. react to it. Like some, some people were really kind of offended by it. To me, I was like, ah, I mean... It's not the first time I've done something like this. <laughs> I mean, Saint my first rodeo. It's not my never, first Bioshock. I was never game. offended by it. It was just always kind of like, I, you know, it seemed unnecessary. It seemed unnecessary. Yeah, it seemed whatever. unnecessary, but I was okay with it. 